in the previous videos we have looked at the transformers in the nlp and computer vision space today we will look at a few transformers in the audio space or audio data format right um again our standard pipeline uh, module and then the data sets we are going to read some data audio files uh, from hugging face uh, data sets library okay so using the load uh, data sets now then we have these two new libraries uh, sound device and sound file so using sound device uh, we can play the sounds which are in the form of numpy arrays right and then using sound files uh, we can convert uh, the mp3 uh, or wave uh, etc audio file formats to numpy array and then we can play them using the sound device okay uh, i think i have installed a couple of other libraries so when you run the code uh, if uh, it is missing any libraries obviously obviously python uh, uh, locks are very clear so install them using pip i installed uh, everything required using pip so the first task we are going to look at it's the audio classification uh, so similar to text and image classification given an audio file or this waveform uh, uh, it will classify uh, the file okay now so this model uh, uh, it has a trainer to do this command recognition or keywords uh, keyword spotting right so it has it can classify uh, the audio into one of these categories right so yes no up down etc there is also uh, unknown and silence okay so these are the categories uh, the model is trained to classify the audio okay all right so uh, again we have the classifier and now we call it uh, with this uh, file now flock is another uh, audio format okay so it has written uh, these five scores and uh, the model uh, unable to classify or maybe the audio file uh, uh, does not fall into any of these categories so it has uh, classified it as unknown category i'll play a couple of audio files so it will become clear to you okay and then uh, we have another we are loading some more audio files uh, using this uh, hugging face load data set uh, library uh, so here we have some audio files uh, this is the audio file uh, data set name and then uh, we are calling the model uh, with one of the files okay and the top k uh, it determines how many classes to return so because here we have defined as five it has returned uh, five classes whereas if we if we if we define let's say for example two classes it should return only two classes uh, what happened non type object is not iterable okay so we need to read the data set again uh, data set uh, the iterator instead of the files uh, the iterators are a little tricky to handle Okay, let me do one thing. Uh, let me rerun the code. Uh, maybe I don't want to reinstall the libraries. Okay, I'll. What I'll do is restart and get their output. So what we want to do is, yeah. So we want to check if it return only two classes, right? That's fine. This should return only two classes this time. Yeah. So as you saw, it has written two uh, classes. So this top guy, it determines uh, how many classes to return. Now, so here we are looping over the data set and for each file in the data set, uh, we are uh, predicting the labels. All right. So this data set only has one two three four five six eight 
data files and these are the predicted uh, classes because here we said top k is equal to one right now i'll play a couple of files okay so let's start with the first file uh, i hope you can hear so it is just noise right uh, and this one has been classified as silence it was completely noise and then let's pay play this file it has category classified as unknown uh, the audio was a bit low but i hope you can hear uh, let's let's play these files right uh, so that we can hear oh, uh, they have been classified uh, into something so let's let's see them no i can clearly hear the word no but i don't think the classification is simply uh, that uh, what is said uh, in the audio so let's look at the second one uh, the i don't know i'm not sure it's not clear go so the instruction is clearly go and let's look at the fourth one down down so the instruction is down now finally cat, cat. so it said some cat again the cat does not belongs to any of these so it has said uh, unknown right so it's it's recognizing these commands are the keywords okay that's what the model is uh, trying to do all right so as i mentioned we can use this sound device library to play the audio files now the data so this one data it's already in numpy arrays so sound data can play them Maybe what I will do is uh, let me do one thing. Load data set. And let me print the data set. All right. So it has eight records. It has file, audio, and a label. It seems. Now oh, how do we find? So let's do one thing. So. Let's say file. Let's print what it is. All right. So it has this file. Uh, the data set is already downloaded to my uh, local machine. And it has this array, which is the audio file represented in the form of an array. And it has the sampling rate. Okay. So to the model, we are providing the wave file. So as you can see, this is a wave file. So to the model, we are providing the wave files as input. All right, then let's look at a zero shot classification first. Okay, uh, again, the same story, zero shot audio classification and not all models can do the task. So, uh, right, so that's why here we are choosing uh, this specific model and then uh, I guess it's the same data set. Okay, let me run the code. Uh, this is again going to return an iterator. So let's get the first first uh, data. So it has the path. Okay, all right. Uh, I think the audio in the form of an array and then sampling rate so each data contain three attributes uh, the path i don't know it uh, always none then the array which contains the audio file in the form of an array and the sampling rate so here we have picked up uh, the audio file right so we have picked up the audio uh, one second data set train audio yeah, so we, we, we are printing the data set train audio, right? So as th this returns an iterator, so every time we run next, it will return uh, the value, uh, 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 the next value uh, in the iterator, okay? So from this one, we are taking the array. So to this model, uh, we are inputting uh, the audio file in the form of an array, okay? So classifier, now we want to classify this as one of these two uh, sounds 
so the first one is sound of a dog and the second one uh, it's a sound of a vacuum cleaner so the model is saying uh, it's a sound of uh, a dog now i'll play the audio so as i showed before sound device can only play uh, numpy arrays uh, which are uh, audio files okay so i'm playing the this one uh i guess uh you can hear uh, a dog barking right so it has classified as a sound of a dog uh that's the second one and then let's look at the speech recognition uh, which is a, a, a simple task so given an audio file uh it returns uh what is spoken by humans let's say okay so if it has uh, some other sounds it won't return back but uh, if it has uh, a human audio uh, it will return that so let's get the model and now let's run it on uh, one of these hugging face audio files so here uh, we are calling this model on the same data but this time here we are asking uh, it to return the timestamps okay so this audio file uh, i have listened to it and uh, somebody just speaking uh, these uh, uh, this sentence okay and when we call it with this return timestamp it will also it will divide it into chunks and it will give us uh, the timestamps as well so if we have a large audio file uh, maybe we wanted to know at what time what is been spoken uh, the time stamp will be useful right so between 0 to 5.6 we have this audio and between 5.6 to 10.2 uh, seconds or uh, not seconds uh, i'll play the audio uh, we have uh, we have uh, uh, this uh, uh, this is what spoken and uh, the first element it contain the full text uh, okay and the final task we are going to look at is uh, this emotion recognition uh, before that i quickly want to show you this data set um, so here is some audio data set right you can play these audio files and here you will look at uh, the categories for example let's look at this one so it is this uh, chirping uh, birds okay hope you can hear that and maybe vacuum cleaner and let's play thunderstorm right so these are all 5 seconds uh, seems like audio clips uh, categorized into various things like fireworks clapping aeroplane etc etc so such data sets are used to train the uh, the classification and zero shot classification etc models and the final task we are going to look at uh, it's this recognizing uh, the emotions okay uh, we don't have this as part of the pipeline uh, but we have an endpoint okay so i already have Uh, created my hugging face account i already got uh, my uh, api token uh, which is not a uh, show displayed here but uh, you can get your own api token and uh, this is the endpoint uh, speech uh, emotion recognition from speech okay so uh, this is the data set and we are simply taking the first element from this data set and calling this function query which is simply going to do a post uh, request okay as we discussed before uh, this requests take three elements right one is uh, the endpoint url the second one is the header which contains uh, 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 the authorization and finally uh, the data or the payload okay so let me quickly run api token is not defined okay because i rerun the notebook uh i the api token is lost but what it does is uh it will okay maybe i'll uh 
Maybe let me get my API token and <laughs> rerun the code. So here is my API token. So let me do this API token. I am going to delete this token after this video. So it probably, it won't be useful to you. All right. So you see, uh, the model has trained to detect uh, a few uh, emotions like anger, disgust, sadness, fear, and happiness. Okay. Uh, this file, uh, don't know what it is, but it seems like it's something neutral or, uh, or maybe it's not human uh, audio. So the model has given equal weight uh, to a number of classes. Maybe let's try with uh, file number one. Okay, the model is currently loading. So with this free APIs, uh, the models are uh, not always up and running. So when we call the model first time, uh, if it's not uh, running, it will take a few seconds uh, and up to 20 seconds. Uh, to uh, uh, to be ready okay so if you run one more time all right again uh, this data set don't seem to have any uh, human emotions uh, again it has classified uh, uh, with some one-fifth probability for uh, the five categories we have here okay uh, the video was a bit long and uh, this is the first time i'm also working with the audio files uh, um, but it's quite interesting uh, that's all in the audio space and in the next couple of videos we will cover multimodal transformers and that will conclude uh, the hugging face uh, pipelines okay Thank you very much.